Welcome to this to today's episode of Grow 90. And we're looking at led by the covenant. We see the story in Genesis chapter 50, verse 20, and Genesis 15, verse 30. By the way, if you've gone through the entire four day study plan, I must say, kudos, you tried. Most people don't go past day three on this particular 90 day study plan. So I'm proud of you. Now we see Joseph being sold into slavery by his brothers. Talk about betrayal, talk about pain, talk about bitterness, and talk about maybe unforgiveness or resentment for some time. I know you forgive them later, mm -hmm. but let's be realistic. The first few times, it's going to suck. You're going to feel it in your heart. I say, oh my God, those boys I gave my porridge jam last time, even Levi, even Ruben. I remember when he came and asked me for shoes, I gave him a shoe. Just an example to bring this into perspective in our modern day world today. I mean, it's going to feel very crazy to be betrayed by your siblings. I can't even imagine any of my sister doing that to me. How would I respond? <sighs> I really don't know. But we see that Joseph was being led by a covenant. Earlier on, God had promised to give that land to his people. He made that promise to Abraham. In Genesis 15 verse 13, the Bible says, The Lord said to Abraham, You can be sure that your descendants will be strangers in the foreign land where they'll be oppressed as slaves for 400 years. That promise preceded the coming out of Egypt with a great wealth into the land of Canaan. Eventually, that was going to belong to them according to the promise that God made to Abraham. And then Joseph was handpicked by prophecy to be led by the covenant. What are you experiencing today that looks like life is picking at you or picking on you, whatever the correct English is. But there's some I kind of feel like, oh, everyone that's in the rest of the world is having it nice. And you're the only person getting the bad things, getting the, the gruesome experience and getting all the disappointment. What if you were picked by covenant? What if you were being led by covenant into the fulfillment of prophecy? The audience of adversity is that in the midst of adversity, you never know that a script more powerful than you can think about is playing out. I want you to know that because God has a plan for your life and there is already a covenant to prosper you, a covenant to ensure that you succeed and not fail, that covenant is leading you. It does not matter the adversity you experience today. I assure you that you are being led by covenant into the rest that has been prophesied and promised to you. Cheer up, chin up, face up, nose in the air, not in pride, in quiet confidence that the one who is leading you will finish what he has started in your life. Don't give up in the face of adversity, no matter how gruesome it seems. See you tomorrow.